Hey guys, it's me, I'm back, coming from Cornwall, UK, and today's video is all about Starlink. So there was an offer for to get the Starlink for rural properties in England, which was just £99, and my internet is pretty good, but I thought I'd just, just order it and give it a try. And I'm just speeding up the video here, so to save you just the pain of... Uh, another unboxing video and the whole setup was pretty straightforward i think i got a little bit confused about the cable um but once <laughs> i figured out that i could just drag the access point a little bit there closer to the uh, power source i was good and then i needed to install the starlink app and and get it sort of calibrating it's pretty cool actually uh does take quite a bit of time to yeah th there's me struggling to get internet on my front lawn I've since got a access point set up there now but yeah you can see it moves tracks the tracks the satellites I think it needs a it, it tells you about obstructions and things like that and that front lawn kind of does have some obstructions so I don't know if this is the best test that we could have done but um, it was the best I could do on that afternoon so what am i doing here i think we're just looking at the speed tests and the results were pretty good they were about a double what i get with uh, with my fiber at home so bt gives, it gives me like this 80 20 package and here you can see that starlink was like getting almost twice that 136 um, it does do this misleading thing where it tells you about your Wi-Fi speed, and that's a bit confusing, I find, but I mean, who cares about Wi-Fi speed? And um, the important thing to me is latency, and you can see the latency, uh, the, the very minimum is 23 milliseconds, but it's, it's more like somewhere in between there. Now, if you compare that with my smoke ping of my FTTP connection, you can see that my my average latency is, I don't know, like... 17 milliseconds so yeah it's just this is not appropriate for me i'd rather have fttp and low latency than a faster speeds and um, so yeah the next thing we had to do is um pack this bad boy up which is uh, not that easy because you have to be careful to put it into stow mode and then another problem i had was generating the return label i had to like raise a support request for that uh, yeah there's my friend helping me pack it up yeah yeah we figured it out in the end so what's the price difference between starlink and ftp well ignoring the huge <clears throat> absolutely gigantic upfront costs of ftp i made a video about that i think it cost me three grand so Starlink costs £100 to get going. But Starlink is more expensive per month. It's £75. It's, it's in the a and a, a it's, the way it comes, it's billed to me is like, um, how shall we say, £10 plus £35. So it's £45. So it's £45 versus £75. It's quite a big difference. To conclude, although Starlink has a high latency and I'm gonna go with my FTTP connection. It is actually a huge peace of mind because now I don't have to solely rely on BT. I can have the peace of mind if BT betray me, I can go to Starlink. 